right. This was part A. Okay, A you've done already. Okay, it said calculate the profit before appropriation. We showed that working, did we? Yes, we did. Okay, that was the profit before appropriation. Then B. Okay, so A we've done. B we've done. Okay, we've got C and D left to do. Okay, so C said prepare the current accounts for Amy and Gary. Okay, what is a current account? Let's revise. Current account is just for the individuals. Good. Uh, what does it look like? Um, like a exactly. Okay, so let's draw up two T accounts. One for Gary, one for the other person, Amy. Okay. <coughs> so I've been accepted to study law. Oh, well done. There you go. Oh, you, you want to do law? I just applied. Okay. I've That's been good. At well done. That's good. It's just the option, though. Yeah. It's not a bad idea because, like, like I say, your, your family has a, mm -hmm. um existing business in that industry, so you can always cut or study the same thing. Okay. All right. So current account. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So current account. We're just putting headings here. So draw up two T accounts. The one you're going to label Amy current account, and the other you're going to write down the other one, Gary. Okay. You didn't ask Chase about the courses at thingy. Um, no, I did. Oh, you did. Yeah, they me. Okay. Because Varsity College is not well; it's part of the same like overall group of companies, yeah. but it's separate to. Um, Vega, yeah. Vega yeah. is its own like place. Yeah. And there wasn't anything at Vega that you wanted to do. No. Okay, interesting. I don't know. Have you gone for that aptitude test or that? What do they call it? Um, uh, um, but the one that tells you about like what you should do, that's how yeah, oh, and what did it say? No, 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 it's called the aptitude. I'm, I haven't got it yet. Okay. 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 Alright, so what am I going to have? Open balances. Yeah. Alright, so we need to kind of like remember what we did early on. Um, I think they gave you open balances, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Okay, so this was for the year ended November 2017. Opening balances, see these are easy marks. Yeah. Why? All I need to do is just look, look at the question. Yeah. Okay, so what balance do you have for Amy? See if you can find it. <coughs> Not you. Mm -hmm. That's capital. That's no, current. 18. Yeah, that's current. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the current account balance is as at 1st of December 2016. 18,000 credit for Amy. Okay, this was for 1st of December. So 1st, the 12th, 2016. Balance brought down 18,000. So okay. the 1st of 1st of the 12th. And then Gary had a debit balance. So. What is his balance? One o eight hundred, ten thousand eight hundred. Right, and that will always be an easy mark. Okay, all you need to do is just remember what current is. Current is what an owner's equity account. Mm -hmm. It has a plus on the capital. Uh, well, it's similar to capital it has a plus on the credit side. Okay. Okay. Let's go back and look at each of the line items. Okay, so it's capital to count. Do we put that? No, you don't put capital into current. Current is current. Drawings, yeah. Uh, no, drawings is drawings. Okay, drawings will have its own tier account. Profits from operations? A share of the profit you would. We've actually done this. We've got that there. Yeah. Okay, okay. so um, was there any adjustments to the current account? Let's just read the rest. So, Amy made a loan account? No. Um, 
profits had accrued evenly on drawings, that's fine, we, we looked at that. Additional information, Abe and Gary prepared a formal partnership agreement, that's fine. Interest on capital, that's what we need, okay, so we can start with that one. Interest on capital, there's interest on capital. Okay, what is interest on capital going to do to the individual partners' accounts? Are all of those minus amounts here? Uh, because that was for the appropriation, and that was a different question. Okay, cool. Even the salary must be negative, eh? I don't know if you put that in brackets. Yeah, I think I did, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Everything else must be positive, yeah. Okay, so, uh, what am I going to do with this? Show it in the T accounts. Okay, so what is interest on capital going to do to the current account of the individual partner? Increases. Exactly. So partner A, um, this was for the whole year. So nine months and three months, we need to put the total in. Okay, so those figures are more important because those are the totals. Yes, so Amy gets 7,200. Okay, what is that? That's interest on capital. That would have been for the end of the year. So 30th of the 30th of November, I think it is. Because we're starting in. Yeah, we're starting in December. Okay, it's a very odd year end, but anyway. Okay, 30th of November 2017. Interest on capital. Capital. Okay. Now all of this would have been general journal. So if you want to put GJ, GJ, GJ of all of them. That's fine, go ahead, but I'm just going to leave it as that. Okay, so that's 7-2. What is going to happen to Gary's account? The exact same thing. If Gary earns interest, Gary will be entitled to more. Is Gary a good partner? No. Why? Because Gary has a debit balance. Okay, Gary has a debit balance. That means, uh, just to revise like theory, Gary, over the life of the partnership, would have taken more from the partnership than what is his entitlement than his entitlements. Okay. Alright. Um, next point two was interest on drawings. Okay, so we did that working, we just need to pull the mouse. Okay, what does interest on drawings do to the current account? Decreases. Exactly. Okay, because they'll be entitled to less. Why? Because they have to pay the partnership the interest. So 240 for Amy, that's gonna go on this side. Interest on drawings. General journal. Okay, so Amy, 240 is going to come off her account. 84 is going to come off Gary's. Gary's was 84, yes. Okay. And that's it. That's another bit complete. complete. Okay, then the question went on and point number three talked about a salary. Will the salary affect Amy's account? Yeah. Of course it will. Okay, Amy will be entitled to more. Okay, so earlier on we had that working, so there's the salary to Amy. She got 16,216. So that's going to increase her entitlement. So a salary would be on the credit side. Salary to Amy, total 16216. Okay, Amy's happy because she's entitled to more. Her equity has increased. Her current account has increased. What's the general journal? Yeah, all of it is general journal, so don't have to worry about any other journals. Okay, profits and losses were shared. Okay, did we share the profits? Yes. It wasn't a profit, it was a loss. Okay, so the partnership didn't do well. Okay, what is the loss going to do to their current account? Yes. Exactly. They will be entitled to less. Um, so, on the 30th of the 11th, this would have been from profit and loss. No, appropriation, because it's a partnership. It's not a sole proprietor. Appropriation. Okay, general journal again. It's a closing transfer. Amy got nine. Four six three comma two. That's what she got of the loss. Same thing happens with Gary, except his loss is only 
6,308. That was it there, hey? Yeah. Okay, I see I wrote this down in two different columns, nine months and three months. Um, it could have been in the same column because remember, this is the loss for the year. It's profit for the year. So just that bit here, didn't, it doesn't matter which column you wrote, write it in. I should have written it in that column actually because it's the total loss, but it's fine. Okay, you can move it if you want to. Uh, just rub out the separate amounts then. Okay. Okay, because that's the loss, and the loss is at the end of the year. Okay. Right, that point's complete. Five said, loan interest was paid at a rate of. Okay, who had the loan? Amy. Was it? Yes. Amy made the loan to the partnership on the 1st of December. Okay, so the loan is actually separate from her equity, okay, because that's something that is between her and the, and the business and the company. Right, and then they said, calculate the, that's it, yeah, so we just need to tally up. Okay, so which account, which side is bigger? Current looks bigger for Amy. Do you agree? Okay, so let's balance the accounts. <coughs> it's literally totaling. Okay, so if I total the credit side, I get that total. 41,000 is definitely bigger. Okay, so write down that on both sides. Okay, that added together gives me that. Then I'm going to carry down a balance and bring down the balance. So 30th of the 11th slash 17 balance carried down. Right, so how do I get this balance? It's simple. I take that total <coughs> and I subtract these amounts. Yeah. Okay, it's literally balancing. It's like what you've done for all the other accounts. Okay, you write the same thing in there and just change the dates and brought down instead of carry down. Okay, so on the 1st of December 2018, no, 2017, still the same year, balance brought down. Okay, Gary's account, which sounds bigger? Ooh, Gary's a bad partner, hey? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it might not be because of his fault, it's because of the loss. Okay, they made a bigger loss there, so now his owing to the partnership is even more. Sum. Okay, that's the total, that's obviously bigger. Okay, so, am I missing a balance here? Yes. So I'll carry down a balance there, and I'll bring down a balance here. Okay, so equals. That amount minus that amount gives me that total. And that's it. Okay. Right, there were no other adjustments here, there wasn't. Okay, they only gave you balances, so that's fine. We put in the current account balances. Uh, we weren't required to drop any other T accounts. They only said prepare the current accounts for Amy and Gary. Yeah, so that's fine. Okay, we've literally got theory left to do. State two items which may be included in the partial agreement other than the share of profit. Okay, which will affect the appropriation and which will not affect the appropriation. Okay, so interesting. Nice theory question. Do you have an Is it? Number? Uh, D. State two items which may be included in a partnership agreement other than the share of profit. Assets. Uh, what do you mean by assets? Okay, so what is the partnership agreement? It's the contract that is signed between the two partners, do you agree? Okay, so in that agreement, we need to specify everything. Okay, why? It's because if there's any problem between the two partners, because yes, the partners might be all happy and working well together at the beginning of the partnership. 
Okay, that might not always be the case. Okay, maybe the partnership um, continues for a few years and things don't work out as well. Now what are they going to do? They're going to go back to the agreements. Right, and they're going to say, well, this is what the agreement says. So even if they're arguing and fighting over who gets what share of the profits, they always have what? The contract. Okay, the contract is the contract. When they started the partnership, they started the partnership. The partnership is going to cover certain things. Um, I see there actually isn't any theory here. Okay, so there were only two chapters in the textbook that spoke about partnerships. Okay, they didn't give any specific theory. So I think you could probably come up with points that relate to what they're asking you about. Okay, so let's answer it. Okay, the first one, one. Okay, so D1. D1 is asking you to state two items which may be included in a partnership agreement other than the share of the profit. Number one, which will affect the appropriation account. Okay, so we drew up an appropriation account in the format that they wanted it. Okay, they like these column formats. They're not the T account. Okay, but I think we had both even though we didn't. Okay, we just left it as this. Uh, I think the working we did was the T account. I can't remember now. But but anyway, okay. So which two items here would be specified in the agreement? Would you want to specify this in the agreement? Yeah, the interest on top rate. Yes. Would you want to specify this in the agreement? Okay. Yeah. Those are two. They said other than share of the loss or share of the profit in this case. Okay. Right. So there's items. Those are the two items. Okay. So item number one. The interest on drawings. Oh, this is D part one. Yeah, interest on drawings must be specified specified in the partnership agreement. Okay, so we have to say what the interest on drawings is if there is any interest on drawings. Okay, the rate must be agreed on and they must accept the interest on drawings and they must accept the interest on drawings to be charged to their account. Okay, that will affect appropriation obviously. Okay, that's the first one. Well, it's two marks, so we don't have to write too much. Okay, so obviously each of drawings must be specified in the agreement. Uh, we need to know what the rate is, and the partners must agree to it being charged on their accounts. Okay. All right, and the last one is the interest on capital. Yeah, they must agree to that being charged to their accounts. Well, obviously they've signed the agreement, they've agreed to it anyway, so... Okay, the next one is obviously interest on capital. So the exact same thing. Copy paste the interest on capital must be specified in the agreement. Okay, that's straightforward. So this is part two, eh? Yeah, it's exactly the same actually. And the rates must be um, I think the word stated is probably better. Stated The rate must be, uh, the interest rate must be, I'm just rephrasing a slightly different, the interest rate must be stated on the agreement so they will earn interest on the capital. Okay, and that's that. Right.
Makes sense. Okay, so one is digital capital, one is on drawings. Right, uh, then they said here two items that will not affect the appropriation. Okay, so what won't affect the appropriation? Is this still part of question? It's two. Is this question two? No. It's uh, question one. one. One is two parts, uh, two is the last part. Okay. Okay, just say anything. Okay, so which two items won't affect the appropriation? Well, would a loan account affect the appropriation? No, because the loan is between the partner and the... Um, must the loan account be a part of the partnership? Yeah. No, not part of the agreement. Well, not, when I say um, uh, affecting, so they said items which may be included in a partnership <coughs> that will not affect the appropriation. So, um, a loan would be something that you could state in the partnership that they could take out of the partnership, but it wouldn't affect the appropriation. So, we can mention that loans to and from partners could be allowed in the partnership, but because this specifically relates To the partner and not the entire and not uh, to maybe I should say relates to the specific partner and not both partners it won't affect appropriation Okay, so if you and your partner are working in a partnership, if you take out a loan with the partnership, that's your loan with the business. It's got nothing to do with the other partner. Okay, so yes, you would still account for it. Uh, it could still be provided for in the agreement, but it wouldn't be something that would affect the sharing. Okay, because it's your loan with the partnership. Okay, it's, it's something slightly different um, outside the the partnership. Um, I'm just trying to think of another. State two items. Um, another one, let's see. A loan to that will not affect the agreement, the appropriation sharing. Maybe you could say a bonus perhaps, or no, but a salary would affect it, yeah. Uh, let's think. Appropriation. Oh. Another one. If the partners take if the partners take uh, will draw. Let's say if the partners uh, if the partners have drawings. Let's just keep it simple. Okay, if the partners have drawings, comma the drawings will be recorded in a separate account, comma, the partner's capital or current account will be affected. Let's use the word current rather. The current account will be affected, but but drawings 
will not affect the appropriation. Just an asterisk only interest on drawings will affect appropriation. Okay, so in other words, um, if there is drawings, okay, so if you draw from your partnership, okay, your current account will be affected, and so will your drawings account. But nothing will happen to your appropriation. It's not going to affect the sharing. Okay, if you take more or less, it doesn't matter. The thing is, you're still going to share the profit or loss. Okay, if one partner takes more than the other, well, then that partner will have maybe a debit balance on their account, like the one we saw earlier. Okay, Gary. Okay, Gary probably took more from the business in the past, and that's why Gary's owing the partnership. Okay, well, that's Gary's problem. Okay, it doesn't affect the appropriation. Notice, in the appropriation, I still share everything as is. Okay, so what one partner gets is what one partner gets. It's unrelated to whether they've drawn more or less in the past. Okay, so that's one, that's, that's one other that I can think of that we could mention there. Um, that would be included in the agreement, but it wouldn't affect the appropriation. Okay. Okay. <clears throat>